Hello guys, uh, Evans here and uh, welcome to this um, yet another video tutorial. Um, in this tutorial we're going to continue looking at the IGCC ICT May June 2017 paper 2 one. Um, in the last video we looked, uh, we ended on step number 26 and in this video we pick up with step number 27. Okay, so step 77 says using fields from both tables produce a report that one selects only those records where the accommodation is most worth large, room type is standard or ensued, and then paid is no, and then contains a new field called room cost which is calculated at runtime and displayed as currency, and this field will uh, calculate the weeks multiplied by weekly cost, and then it shows only the fields, first name, last name, weekly cost, cost, um, um, Cost, then weeks, um, and then accommodation, room type, and room cost in this order. And then should also sort um, the the last name in ascending order. Excuse me. And then also has a page orientation of landscape. Fits on a single page wide. Includes um, the heading outstanding room fees at the top of the page and then does not display page number when printed okay so take note of this one should not display page number when printed and then has your name um, center number and candidate number at the top of the right of the report okay now um, like I said um, in the previous video um, that you would do well to divide this um, this this question into two sections identify some tasks which can be done uh, with um, the query and then also the task that can be done in the report usually the query is used to identify uh, or to extract information that is needed so um, everything that has to do with extracting specific fields um, then should be included in the query in this case these um, um, uh, tasks here can be included in the query and the rest of the tasks will have to be worked on um, in the report okay so that should um, you, you should um, be very convinced to decide which ones you can do um, with them um, um, with a query and which one you can you're going to do with the report some of the, um, the, 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 the people they go straight and just go into report design and um, they start to um, create but that is a very hard way actually to um, to execute this okay so let's go ahead and um, uh, do um, self justice so what I'm going to do is to just print um, um, I don't know if I need to print um, yeah I need to print let me just print this um, let me just print this so that uh, I don't I'm not flipping um, too much especially on um, this one because I need to um, to extract only the required fields uh, in good time okay so all right so what we want now is to go to our access and then we're going to save this okay and then um, close it then we go to create and then this time query wizard and then simple query wizard um, you are now selecting the fields uh, from the different um, files that you have so um, the fields they're supposed to be in, in the given order okay so it's first name last name weekly cost cost then uh, weeks accommodation room type and room cost in this order so what I want to do now is to go ahead and um, get this field uh, this um, fields okay so um, we need to get the student first name and then we need to get the last name and then we need to get the weekly cost so just go to rooms and get weekly cost and then you need to get um, course so go back to students and get course and then um, you need to get weeks you need to get weeks um, which is this one then you need to get accommodation um, weeks I have it we need to get accommodation um, in rooms get accommodation then you need to get room type and then you need to get um, room cost now room cost um, is um, a calculated field so we'll leave it at this and we'll write it um, um, at the end okay so the other field that we we need um, is um, if you go back to the question the other field that we need is called paid 
Um, it has not yet been indicated um, um, on the fields that are supposed to be shown. But um, you have two options if you are asked to, um, if you wanted to include page. You can either include it um, from the students and just add it down there. Uh, I don't like to include it from here. I, I, I love to include it um, in the query. So I'll show you another way that you can include it. So go to next, the next, the modify the query. At this stage, um, you don't need to change even the query name. I mean, it's not necessary, but just modify it and go there. Now, one of the um, the fields that we need to add is a field called um, 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 room cost. And let's look at some of the properties of this uh, field. Okay, so uh, contains a new field called room cost, which is calculated at runtime and displayed as a currency. Okay, so this field will calculate the weeks multiplied by weeks um, uh, weekly cost so you're multiplying this field weekly cost multiplied by um, weeks okay so um, and this is what is uh, making up this room cost so what you need to do now is to come here and um, here you type room cost now remember you must be very careful when you type these values because if it misses um, um, the 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 name um, with in your query you get something like parameter missing and stuff like that those errors is because um, you have um, your name of the field that you're trying to use in a calculation maybe you use small letter when it was supposed to be capital letter and these two differences that you or this difference that you have is going to cost you or it's going to um, run into an error and it will be called um, giving you the error that you there's a parameter that is missing okay so um you need to um, specify which fields you are uh, getting that. So it's the weeks field, and we are multiplying it by the weekly cost. Okay. So notice how I'm accessing the names of the fields. Okay. Using the square brackets. Okay. So then you need to make sure that this one is um, shown. So check it and then run. Okay, so where are we? Um, which which one are we running? <laughs> okay, so let's go back here. Um, um, okay, we didn't select it. We need to show it. So because I'm I'm just looking. Why why is it not showing? Okay, run it again, and there you go. It's showing this time. Okay, so um, go back to design view. Now we need to modify some of the properties for this field we're told that it's supposed to be formatted as currency and at the beginning of the question we were told that all currency values should be formatted as um, um, uh, with a current symbol and they should be to two decimal places so um, whether you use pound or you use dollar it doesn't matter but um, format you're supposed to format it as currency and number of decimal places is supposed to indicate as two run it one more time and you should see that it is perfectly formatted okay the next thing that you're supposed to do um, go back to design view is to add the pay uh, field now remember I told you that um, you could have chosen to add the pay field um, right when you are doing the um, the selection of the fields um, in your query or for your query but um, that is cumbersome okay so um, you just come here and um, 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 on, on on the table you can select where the um, the um, the field is coming from so select from student and then what do you want from student I want paid and this is that is what I want okay so, so you saw what I did so select from the table that you want first of all this one and then select from the fields on top that you want um, this time paid and um, but this one should not be shown okay so you make sure that it is unchecked and then for the criteria you're supposed to check what is the criteria for paid and you see that paid is supposed to be no so you come back here um, you come back here and make sure that paid is actually no. Run it one more time and you see that um, paid is not showing but it is supposed to be no. Let's just enable paid so that we, we are able to see that it is actually selected as no. Um, run it and you see that paid at the end there is no. But since the question doesn't ask you that paid should be shown, you need to make sure that you disable under show here. Okay, Save it. Now there are other attributes that we need to um, to to do. Um, we need um, to set um, the accommodation to Moore's Worth Lodge. So let me just copy the name of this lodge, um, then come back um, here and select under accommodation. You're supposed to say like, and then um, two quotes, and then the name of uh, that, and then run it, 
and you will see that um, um, under accommodation you have um, malls with loads okay so the other thing that you need to do is to um, the other thing that you need to do is that you need to change the room type to standard or end suit okay so what I'm going to do as well is to just let me just go back here and then uh, under room type you need to this to design view under room type you need to say like and then um, quote like that then you say standard and then outside the quotes you say or and then two double quotes and then put end suit okay run it and you should be able to see that it is actually standard or in suit as what has been extracted okay now the next thing that we're supposed to do now that we're done with um, all the attributes that have to do with um, the query then we can go ahead and create now our uh, our report okay so the rest of the items here we can do them in the report and that shouldn't be an issue so let's go straight and um, save this and then um, close it and um, let's create a report wizard and then we are going to build the report based on the last query that we created which is query one and then um, make it um, I mean import all the fields that are in query one take note that it only imports the fields um, which are shown okay um, paid despite being part of the query it is not showed so um, 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 it's not imported so it's not going to be necessary so notice also the order of the fields that they're supposed to be in the order of um, um, the way they were listed um, in in the question so next um, then you don't need to do the sorting here like I said um, you just need to specify what kind of orientation you have um, for um, there so the orientation we are told that it's supposed to be landscape so let's go ahead and change orientation to landscape um, also we need to um, um, make sure that it fits on a single page okay now this one says it should fit on a single page um, and it doesn't say it should fit on a single page wide so this is very important single page which means you need to shrink all your printing and it should fit on a single page so the, usually you are told to do this if the question that you are, you are working with actually the fields can fit on a single page um, and the data won't be too compressed so that it is not visible um, to the user but leave this one as as it is adjust fields with so that all fields fit on a, on a page this one it's fine leave it as it is and then modify the report and you can change the report title um, get to the report heading section and the report heading is supposed to be outstanding room fees copy it and um, let's go ahead and paste it in there and then let's go to finish okay so we have our report um, shown now we just need to verify if all the um, the fields are fully visible so come to layout view and take note that um, some report, uh, some um, uh, fields like weeks is not fully visible. Um, also, notice how um, room cost is also fully not fully visible. So what you need to do is to now start adjusting individual uh, fields so that um, they are fully visible. So you come here and adjust this a bit. Um, get this, adjust it a little bit, and drag it to this side, and then get this one as well. Get this one. Um, adjust it a little bit and drag it this side get this one get this one okay drag it here that should be fine get this one weeks resize it a little bit and then um, drag it this side okay uh, now you need to resize this one because it's large okay so just get this um, get it there as well then resize it a little bit more okay so um, until all the words are fully visible so that is perfectly fine um, then the other thing that you need to do I can resize this further maybe, uh, rather yeah that should be fine um, the other thing that you need to do is to get this one room cost and um, resize it okay and then make just make sure that the data is fully visible um, and there's no data that is cut actually the headings are fully visible no heading is cut out um, this should be perfectly fine okay so the next thing that you're supposed to do is to um, uh, so we are done um, so what, what we just we need is to sort this in ascending order 
okay so you guys um how you, you see that i keep on jumbling and touching this and touching this one you guys will be um ticking whatever you do and whatever remains you know that um um you 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 need to do that okay so for example myself i've not yet done um the um the sorting of the last name in ascending order so let's go ahead and just do that so i'm going to go back to design view of um this one um um, well, I could have even sorted it out in 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 layout view. It doesn't matter. So add a sort, and then you're sorting by last name, and the last name is supposed to be sorted um, in um, I think in um, ascending order. So that's A on top. Okay, so that should be fine. Then um, the next thing that you're supposed to do is to um, uh, include the heading we've done this one does not display a page number when printed so if you come back here um, actually and scroll to the right you will see that here you should it's there's this text box that you have and it extracts the page number there so you need you need to remove this one so remove this one okay and the next thing you're supposed to do is um, let's see has your name center number and kind number at the top right of the report so let's go ahead and add that so top right of the report um, um, so in the report header top right is this side so you need to um, go to database and design and then select a label and then put it in the header okay so what you're going to do here is just put it um, Chikasa Evans ZM 556 and 0001 now here you don't need to put um, in the page footer uh, your name why because this document when you print it is just going to fit on one page okay so it is still going to show your name on that same page okay so the next thing that you're supposed to do is to um okay so is to save and print your work now we need to make sure that you've gone through all these okay so we've done the sorting we've done the orientation we've done the fitting of the single page it includes um we've done the heading we've done the page number and then we've done the name and we're just supposed to print this okay so let's go ahead and go back to um the printing um of um, our work so to print this one you simply just go to file um, um print and then print and then just print it and then it's going to be perfectly fine alternatively you can even preview what you are trying to print just go print and then print preview and you see that um, the work is perfectly fine and it is shown like that um, so I don't know if there's there was any calculation that was supposed to be done no calculation that was supposed to be done so this one is perfectly fine you just print it as it is okay so um, the next thing that you guys are supposed to do is um, step number 28 okay uh, which I'm going to do in the next video um, okay so that we can wrap up um, on um, data manipulation so thank you so much guys for watching this video and I encourage you to comment like share and subscribe um, to my channel